Today, I'm going to share how to create a wireframe in Sketch using the platform of Wireframe Kit. Now, this wireframe is going to include a navigation section, a hero section, a feature section, a couple portfolio sections, a call to action section, a testimonial section, um, a contact section, and then the footer section. Let's jump into Sketch. So I've already got platform I open in Sketch. Now I'm going to select the sections that most closely fix the framework that I've decided to create. Let's see here. So I want a uh, header section that includes I want a navigation and a hero. Ah, uh, yes. This is it. Now I'm going to create a new page, call it wireframe, and add it in there. Let me just, just grab the background. I want to grab the entire component. There we go. See here now. I want a feature section. Let's see here, with feature section. Hmm. Oh, this, I like this one. Add that below it. Let's see here now. I want kind of like portfolio section. So I want four. Um, but I wanted to kind of and grab everything. It's about one fifty each. See, yep, one fifty. Now I want a call to action in between Let's see here where are my call to actions this one right there we go i like this one and two more now i want a testimonial section like this one And next, I want a contact section. Yeah, I like this one. And lastly, footer section. Let's do this one. I actually like this one better. Then I'm gonna create all of this as one artboard. And that's it. Wireframes are just simple layouts that outline the specific size and structure of your elements so that everyone in your team are on the same page. They are devoid of color, font choices, logos, any design element that takes away from the structure of the website. Sometimes I've had clients that have a specific idea that they want to create. They come with uh, ideas like uh, layouts or websites that they want to emulate. And sometimes I just jump into Affinity Designer or Sketch and begin creating a high fidelity model. With that said, web design is a process and wireframing is part of that process. Just like you wouldn't build a house without having a blueprint. Hopefully this helps and if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. 